I am going to show you in this video a counterintuitive arrangement of switches and lights. As you can see, we have a DC power source, two switches, two LEDs and one resistor. Since everything is connected in series, in order for the LEDs to light up, both switches must be closed. With one single switch that remains open, neither of the two LEDs will light up. Here we have our circuit. We are using a here you can see it's a 12 volt DC power supply and we have one switch, the LED, resistor, another LED and the final switch connected to the power supply. So now I'm going to plug in the power supply and see how it works. So we have two connect or close both switches in order for the LEDs to light. Now if we only close one switch or the other, the LEDs should not light up. But that's not what happens. we can turn on one LED or the other. So, what's going on here? Well, this is what the circuit looks like. But of course, this cannot be the circuit that we are using. The real circuit is this. The first thing we should notice is that we are using AC, not DC. The power supply has a transformer that produces AC and this rectifier circuit that converts the AC to DC and what we did is to remove the rectifier and connect the wires directly to the transformer so what we get is AC in the output. I will show you the back of my circuit Here you can see the diodes, one diode in each switch and the diodes in the LEDs. Let's see how the circuit works when the switch to the left is closed, the switch to the right is open and the alternating current cycle is such that we have the positive to the left and negative to the right. The current flows to the left and it cannot flow through the first diode because it's reverse biased. But the current flows through the first switch, which is closed, then flows through the first LED, which is forward biased, then goes through the resistor, and the second LED is reverse biased, so it doesn't light, but the current can flow through the diode, which is forward biased, and then again it cannot flow through the open switch but it can flow through the diode at the right which is forward biased and then the circuit is completed. When the current cycle reverses the current tries to flow to the right however it cannot flow through the switch which is open and it cannot flow through the diode which is reverse biased. Therefore none of the LEDs lights up. Left. However, the current changes so quickly, 60 times per second, that it gives the illusion that the LED is permanently lighted up. Notice that this circuit is symmetric, therefore when we have the right switch closed and the left switch open, everything reverses and the right LED will light up. 